Hi Vogue, my name is Tati Gabrielle and today I'll be walking you guys through my morning routine and my everyday makeup look. I use the Dr. Bonner's Castile Soap, specifically the peppermint one, um, it's my favorite. I only use like a couple drops. In my 20s, my skin like really changed and became like super sensitive, like I never had acne and then all of a sudden it all came at once. This awesome thing right here is a Dr. Dennis Gross like light mask. It has three different settings. So it's just a little button. This is the Dr. Dennis Gross Extra Strength Daily Peel. I go first with the number one. If I have a pimple or I have like scarring as you can see like from my years of acne, I try to hit those spots a little bit more. When my skin changed, it was a big shock to me and I kind of really didn't know what to do. Started trying like all of these products that kind of I think at, at first made things worse. I was like, okay, maybe I should scale back, keep it simple. And I'm really bad at touching my face a lot. So I had to learn how to refrain from that. So now I'm going in with step two. This is like a anti-aging neutralizer. For this, I try to hit like the spots that I know I have like more lines. It's not a bad thing for me to have smile lines, but I have really deep smile lines because I smile a lot. I go in with the Lush Tea Tree Toner. I like Lush's stuff because it's more natural. So next, I use the CosRx Poreless Power Liquid. My mom is Korean, my dad's black. I have like all of these weird combinations of my skin, hair, everything. Um, so that my mom, you know, was kind of learning with me as I was growing up. I've kind of, I guess, become my own skincare influence. I am going in with the Caudalie Vino Perfect Serum. It helps me maintain moisture better in my skin because my skin can get quite dry. Next, I'm gonna do my moisturizer. When I'm on set filming, I find that I have to be very like diligent about my skincare routine because you know, a lot of makeup every day and sometimes we're sitting in makeup for up to 12 hours a day with doing Sabrina and that was of course a lot of makeup because it was stylized. I just had to be disciplined, very disciplined. <laughs> Next, I go in with this COSRX peptide eye cream. I have a little bit of eczema. It particularly shows around my eyes and eyelids. And I go mostly under here, and then I tap a little bit up top. I definitely think of skincare as a part of self-care. It's loving on yourself to give your skin like what it needs and to have your own little spa day every day. A big thing for me is just going to the beach or going to large bodies of water. Water is like a huge, just healing thing for me. I go with the Tula Protect and Glow, which is a sunscreen. I didn't use sunscreen before, and I am realizing within the last year how important it really is, especially because I have quite a bit of scarring. When you're putting on lotion, anything, always go up. Don't pull down. And then like once I finish all my skin stuff, like what I do, and often I'll even do it through is that I put serums on. I like do this tapping thing that I find it helps everything just absorb and like wakes up my skin a little bit more. I always do a lip mask. Um, this is one of my favorites. Now I'm going to go into my makeup routine. What I start with always is the Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas. I started using it when I did Sabrina, so that's about as much as I use. With finding foundation, I had a hard, a really hard time finding something that matches and like doesn't look too ashy. But I think that in recent years, beauty companies have done really well at, or starting to do really well at making more tones and shades for people of color. So I'm actually gonna go in with this one today. It's very like thin and light. I was a tomboy growing up and didn't really get into makeup all that much. I just liked makeup more so as a form of artistic expression, not as a thing to sort of cover things up, but just to enhance and express yourself through it. I'm just gonna blend this out a little bit. 
I usually do like a, a soft layer first and then like if I wanna cover my spots a little bit more. And sometimes like I don't cover my spots because free the imperfections, you know? Like sometimes we don't need to cover up everything, but that's a part of us as well. I'm gonna go in with some concealer. I have two different colors depending on season and what tone my skin is. I'm just gonna do a little bit Concealer was also a very hard thing for me to find for a while. And I do really love the Fenty stuff. Shouts out to Rihanna for looking out for the brown girls out here. A lot of concealers would go on ashy um, and then I would have to warm them up with something else. I'm going in with the Charisma Skin Tint, um, which I kind of use as like a bronzer or a contour. Most of my makeup tips I've gotten from set Every time I'm on a set, I ask so many questions. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Glossier Cloud Paint. I usually just put a little bit like that. I like to put blush on the apples and up. Like, I like to accentuate my apples. I put a little bit on the tip of my nose. I am going to go in with a little bit of powder. I usually like a more like dewy look, um, but I do use this to yeah take away a little bit of the shine because if I do have foundation, my skin will get oily faster. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. When I was filming um, season three of You and we had to wear masks on set um, constantly, and I found that this like just helped a bunch with keeping things in place and so we didn't have to do as much touch-ups. My favorite pink blush is the NARS Orgasm. Less is more, especially when I first started getting into makeup and my skin started sort of messing up a bit. Of course, I got very self-conscious for a while, but by having that piece of advice, it never let me fall into trying to cover, 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 cover. Even with acne and scars and everything, still made, allowed me to find love for myself um, and be able to look in the mirror and still be like, I am pretty. So I have really thick eyebrows, as you can see, and it was hard for me to find a brow gel that work but i started using the anastasia brow freeze it comes with its own spoolie and like a little spatula so i'm just gonna brush these out a little bit first when i was young because i was such a tomboy i never wanted to get them done though um and liked having thick eyebrows um and i remember my freshman year of high school for our winter ball, my mom made me go get my eyebrows done for the first time. And I remember being so upset about it. Now I kind of like let them run free for the most part. I just clean them up so that they, you know, have somewhat of a good shape. I usually get them threaded as far as a cleanup. Um, but if I have like just straggles here and there, I will tweeze. I'm gonna go in with this guy, which is the Glossier Brow Flick. So today I'm gonna do dots on my face because that's my sort of signature every day. This is the NYX Epic Wear Eyeliner. I started doing dots maybe like four or five years ago. I just found it as a way to shape my eyes or bring my eyes out um, without using like eyeshadow and things. This is the Sephora black eyeliner. My day to day, I keep it, I guess, sort of simple, but when I get on the carpet, um, I always use as it as an excuse to like go for it and go above and beyond. I like to make a whole statement with my whole look from outfit to makeup to everything and make it as artistic as possible. And I like to play. I am going to curl my lashes. For mascara, I use the Glossier Lash Slick. Self-love has definitely been a journey for me. When I was young, I was very different than the rest of my family, just in, personality um, and just the way that I looked at life. And so I, I thought I was an alien when I was a kid. Over time, I started to realize if I don't feel understood or if I don't feel seen, 
then there's one person that can always give that to me, which is myself. I go in with the Fenty Confetti Highlighter Stick. I'll either go straight in with it, but just to the corners of my eyes. And then I just tap it into here a little bit. The last thing that I'll do for my makeup look, um, the Generation G Glossier Lipstick. I am gonna do some baby hair action because um, I like the way it frames my face. I use the Texture ID Edge Taming Gel. I find that it's not so slicked. Sometimes I want it to just be a little bit more softer or natural looking. I start on the outside. I've had a very interesting hair journey. I was straightening it for most of my life as for manageability until I got into college. Then I started learning sort of like natural hairstyles that I could try. I used to do Bantu knots a lot, um, but just like playing with things, going on YouTube, watching things and finding things. I learned how to do my finger waves from YouTube. The finger waves was one of the first things that popped up and I've always had a love for like old Hollywood and like you know, Josephine Baker and them waves. Then when I got to Sabrina, they just liked it. And so they decided to keep it. I like to switch up my hair as much as possible. From your makeup to your hair, to your clothes, everything gives a different vibe and a different feeling. I don't really have a method to my madness when it comes to my hair. I like to just be out of the box kind of with everything that I do. Cause I find that that is what sparks inspiration and what allows one's individuality to come out. Okay guys, so this is my finished look. Bohemian space buns and all. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Bye everybody.